Okay, this is Dan with Atlas Equity Partners. Just wanted to take a minute to walk everybody through the new property submission form. You'll notice at the part up here, the quick navigation on the website, there's now this regular property submission form. Okay, anything other than a short sale will be put in through this form, whether it's a wholesale deal, whatever it might be. So you're going to click there, and it does ask for quite a bit of information, but the more information we know, the higher our profits can be because we can make the right offer. As you all know, when you're investing, you make your money when you buy, not when you sell. Okay, you have to buy right. Uh, the first section here, Atlas Rep Name, that's going to be you, your email and your phone number, the property owner, the property owner's phone number, the property owner's email if available, full property address of the subject property, the reason they're selling, that's very important. Okay, if they've inherited the property, you know, they're just trying to get rid of an inheritance, we can get the property a lot cheaper sometimes. Uh, if we pay cash and close quick, what is the least amount they will take? Open to terms. If they're subject, if they're open to a subject to deal, land contract, lease option, etc., please let us know that. Uh, it could definitely be another route we can go with the deal. Balances of any mortgages on the property, obviously very important. If they're behind on mortgage payments, please list the amount. Has a foreclosure been filed? Yes or no? If there is a sale date, please let us know when it is. Okay, some of these are similar to the short sale form, but if there's equity in the property, it will not be a short sale deal. What are the yearly property taxes? If the taxes are current, yes. If not, how much is due? Are there any other liens, assessments, or fines levied against the property? Very, very important. We're gonna have to use that in our negotiations to get this property under contract. If we get a house for $10,000 and there's 10,000 in taxes due, and we have to pay them, or they have to pay them, it makes a big difference, obviously. It's a huge swing. Uh, what type is the subject property? This is gonna be a drop down. Single family, condo, two unit, three unit, four unit, manufactured or modular, apartment building, or other commercial. Okay, make sure you make the correct selection there. Number of floors of the home, number of bedrooms, number of bathrooms, what is the square footage, the lot size. Uh, you can either put 12,000 square feet or you can put you know, 100 by 120, whatever you have access to, that's fine. Is there a garage, yes or no, the garage type, whether it's attached or detached, and if it's a one, two, three, or four car. If there's a basement, is it full and unfinished, full finished, full and half finished, a half basement and fully finished, or a half basement and unfinished? Describe any other outbuildings and their conditions. Okay, if there's a shed, pole barns, regular barns, whatever there might be. If there's a pool, please let us know that. What type of pool, above ground or in ground? The sewage, is it city or is it on septic? Same thing with water supply. Is it city water or well water? Okay, does the property have central air conditioning? What type of construction is this home? Is it wood? Is it block? Steel? Is it a log cabin home or is it another type? Would you say the floor plan is normal or abnormal? To give you an idea of what that means right now, we have a property in Akron. It is slightly abnormal. When you walk up the stairs, you actually walk directly into the master bedroom when you walk upstairs. You have to go through another bedroom to get to the third bedroom. So it's a little abnormal. On here, you would just select yes, or I'm sorry, select abnormal, and then just type in what I just said, why you think it's abnormal. Very, very important. Age and condition of the house roof, garage roof, furnace, hot water heater, water softening system, central air unit, age and conditions of the windows. Now the next spot here, you're actually gonna go through and on a ranking level of one to five, with five being perfect and one, me and one meaning must be repaired, you're going to go through with the owner and say, okay, what's the condition of the driveway? If they say, hey, you know, it's pretty good. It doesn't need to be repaired. You know, it could use some patching, etc." cetera. That'd probably be a three. Okay. If you ask them about the front porch, they say it's falling down, hit one. Okay. Uh, if the deck's perfect, hit a five. Okay. And you're going to go through each and every little piece here. So we have a good idea of the house that we're looking at, because as you know, we're not going to go inspect the hundreds of properties that get submitted to us every week. So we're making blind offers, but this lets us get a very good idea of the condition of the home. Okay, please list any specific repairs you feel need to be done to get the property in perfect condition. Please make us aware of any other circumstances regarding the property, okay, that can affect our offer. We might be able to, you know, give the house a little bit cheaper. And finally, is the property owner looking to buy any other properties? Okay, if so, where and in what price range? Very, very important because we can actually sell them another house. After that, you'll simply enter this code shown, hit submit, and you'll have an offer in 48 hours.